Hi there. Today we're going to set up a unturned server and we're going to make it public so that our friends can join. Now I have unturned installed on Steam and what you want to do is go ahead and search for unturned and you're going to want to also install the unturned dedicated server. So once you get that installed you can go ahead and right click and under manage you can press this browse local files to open up a directory of all the unturned files. Now because we've installed the server, we should be able to find example-server.bat in this folder. Now what we're going to do to make our own server is we're going to copy the example and go ahead and paste it inside of the same directory. So you know, copy and paste. And now uh, that's not a great name, so let's go ahead and rename it. I'm going to name this my server. Now you can name this whatever you want, but you know, <laughs> you're probably doing yourself a disservice if you uh, make it too obscure. Okay, so now with this new file, I'm going to go ahead and edit it, and we are going to want to copy this bit right here, internet server slash server ID, and we're going to replace uh, LAN server slash example on this line. Okay, just like that. Now server ID here, this is the name of your server. So in my case, I'm going to name my server play it demo. So I'll go ahead and save and close this. And then with that newly updated file, I'm gonna go ahead and double click it and it should launch the command line. So we're gonna give this a moment to set up um, our new server and load everything. Okay, so it looks like we're, we're loaded and ready. So if we go head over to Steam. There's um, under the view tab, you should be able to press servers. And if we navigate under LAN, we see we have an unturned server running. Refresh, use server info. Cool. So our server's running, but this is not public. Our friends will not be able to join the server. So next, we want to make the server public. So uh, we can go ahead and close this now. You can type shutdown. It should close immediately, or you also can just press the uh, the X on the command line and have it close for you. Cool. So just to make sure everything worked properly, if you go into the servers directory, we should see a new folder for uh, our server, and it should be named what we named. Uh, should match what we replaced server ID with. So play a demo. Cool. That looks all good. So now to make the server public, we're going to use a tool that I created called Play It. So we can navigate to the Play website, and we want to download the latest version. Cool, so that's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and click it, and that will launch the program. And you'll be prompted to either log in or create an account. If you already have an account, log in, uh, or you also can continue as guest. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to navigate to the Tunnels tab. So what we want to do is we're going to create a custom tunnel, and we want the local port, uh, we'll just say 100. But the important thing is we want the two port to be 102. And the protocol is UDP. So it should look like this. We'll press set and then add tunnel. Okay, uh, right off the bat, we're gonna wanna edit it. And we're gonna wanna set the local port to match the port that we were assigned. So we're gonna click this, copy it, paste it, trim it so we only have the port. So let's double check. 56470, 56470. Uh, yours will be different, but it should match uh, the value up here. So it looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and press save. And if we look at the player program, uh, we'll see the configuration has been updated. Cool. Now, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna navigate back to our server folder. So if you lost this, remember it's manage browse local files and then servers then the folder which matches the name of your server. We'll go and open that up. And then inside of here, we have a folder named server. And then uh, we have commands.dat. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and uh, open this. We'll open it with notepad. Okay. And then we wanna write port with a capital P, space, and we wanna paste the port that we were assigned. So in my case, it is 56470, and we can go ahead and have both these up to compare, 56470, 56470. Okay, uh, we can save and close that. Great, now if we go back to this folder, 
with or my server.bat. If we double click this, our server will launch and it should be public as long as the play it program is running. So we'll give this a moment to set up again. Okay, our server is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and copy the uh, plate address and port that was assigned to us. We'll head back over to Steam and we will view our servers. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the store favorites. So either add server down here or you can right click and say add server by IP address. And I'll paste, add favorite. Cool, so you can see over uh, play it, we have our server and over LAN, uh, Search no longer there, but cool, it is there. So let's go ahead and double click and try connecting. Awesome. And we can go ahead and press join. And we are in the server. So all you have to do is send that play address to a friend. They add it to their favorite Steam server list, and then they can go ahead and join. Let's go ahead and punch a tree a bit. There we go. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and exit. Now as a refresher, uh, you give the plate address to a friend, they go to Steam, they say add server by IP address, paste it, add the server, and they should be able to join. Great, uh, thank you for watching. If you have any issues, feel free to comment uh, on the video. And then we also have a Discord and a forum where you can post questions. So uh, welcome to play it. Thanks for watching.